Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Gabrielle. If you're not new here, thank you for coming back. But today I'm going to be doing a Dior, D-Way slide, I don't know why I just did that back to back, D-Way slide updated shoe review. I did an unboxing of these about a year ago on my channel, so I've had them for a little over a year now, and I want to give you guys a full update of what my thoughts are on these shoes, what I buy them again, and all of that good stuff. So if you're interested, just keep on watching. Also, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so let's get started with the wear and tear of the shoes. So as you can see, there are some signs of wear, mostly just the mold of like my toes right here at the top, and then the brand name right there the Christian Dior is kind of wearing off but that's just when you have your sweaty little feet in there and you're walking around on these it's gonna rub off it's okay you can still tell <laughs> that they're Dior but what scared me about these shoes is the canvas it wasn't even this part it was more the canvas I was like is this canvas going to get you know like when things get fuzzy with wear and then they're gonna start sticking up is it gonna look pilled is it gonna stain like what's going to happen so far so good I did not wear them at all this summer though i wore them a lot when i first got them and i'll get into it later of why i didn't wear them a lot this summer but for wearing them a good amount of times i think they're in great shape and i feel like they've held up pretty well as for the comfort of these i was super worried about these because i feel like with designer slides or just some designer shoes in general especially with this hard bottom right here i'm like am i gonna have a blister on my toe are my toes going to be shredded on top because i have very sensitive feet i feel like especially the top there's not a lot of fat on them so i feel like when things rub up against it like i just get a cut on my toe instantly I have a pair of Gucci slides and those things murdered my toes. When I first wore them, I really, really had to break them in. Like it took me a long time to break them in. Now they're like the most comfortable shoe ever. But at first, I literally would have this part of the shoe, like literally this front part on the top of my big toe and it would just rub and rub and it would get red and then it would scab and then I'd wear them again and it was just this whole issue with them. But I was so scared about these doing that these did not do that i will say when i first got them i think the first one of the first few times i wore them i decided to wear them all day and i was walking around which was stupid because i feel like you do need to break them in before you do wear a shoe like this just with how flat and hard it is like it needs time to morph into your feet and you know get that you know little movement in there so that day i did remember my toes were a little red i think it was just my left foot actually i don't know what it is with my left big toe but <laughs> has an issue but i think that it was red the next day but then it went away nothing out of the ordinary though nothing to where i was bleeding because i would have a stain right there and then as for comfort level on these shoes these shoes didn't bother me they weren't a shoe where i was bleeding i had a blister on my toe nothing crazy happened but i do feel like they take time and you also can't expect these shoes to be like the most comfortable shoe in the world for how hard this is and for it just being like canvas over your feet it's not like you're wearing rubber flip-flop it's not like you're wearing a tennis shoe so you can't expect them to be super comfortable but they're also not uncomfortable if that's how i could describe it um but i would go back and buy these again i don't regret this purchase sometimes i think hmm should i have instead maybe bought the hermes or in sandals those i feel like are very timeless but then i also feel like these are timeless too and the issue with these the one issue i will say that i was the reason why i didn't wear them that much this summer is i do feel like they're on the dressier side to me personally i feel like these are a shoe that i will wear with jeans and a bodysuit or throw these on with a dress I would never wear these with like a pair of leggings and like some sort of athleisure which is what I'm wearing 99% of the time so that's why I feel like this summer I had a more casual summer I didn't do anything super fancy so I feel like that's why I didn't pick up these more often and honestly I just kind of forgot like you know when you're just in the mode of wearing like I wore my teak sandals all summer like just plain tan teaks like, I wore those all summer just because they're easy they go with everything I feel like with the navy I struggle with wearing these a lot more because I wear a lot of black black and navy to me don't really go together so bl these navy with like nude I love these with white like this this shoe with a white dress is like perfection to me so if I were to go back in time, I would still buy these. I still think they're cute. And I just feel like there's nothing more classic than a designer slide. These don't go out of style because I just feel like it's timeless. 
it's plain enough it just has your regular canvas and says christian dior it's not like the print is all over it in some crazy wild colors and i know that some of these they do have like the wild bottoms which i feel like are very outfit specific these to me are very outfit specific too but i also feel like i dress very plain so that's why i don't maybe reach for them more because i do wear a lot of black and i don't love black and blue together so that's really why i didn't pick them up that much this summer but if i were to go back in time i would still buy these I think they're adorable i just think they're nice i think they're classic and i think they're chic so if you are in the market for buying these try them send them back if you don't like them but try them i got a size 37 in these um i do have an unboxing video of these on my channel if you guys want to look back and watch but i did get a size 37 in these i'm happy with my size i am a six and a half seven in u.s sizes and then in european sizes i usually go for 37 depending on the shoe just because I don't want them to be too small but these are them they still look pretty good they still look brand new and these are the bottoms too I guess I didn't show you guys the bottoms but I feel like that's pretty normal if you're walking around the bottom's gonna get scratched up you could always get them sold too um but yeah I'm happy with my purchase thinking about buying these I think they're a great staple I think they're a nice dressy slide that can be worn in a lot of different ways but for me mainly I like to wear these with dresses with bodysuit and jeans I don't really love these with jean shorts honestly and I don't think I would ever put these on with a pair of leggings or any type of athleisure because they do give off that little bit more dressy a little bit more fancy vibe with this material but I love them and I do not regret my purchase at all. So thank you guys for watching this video and I will be seeing you guys very soon.